Hi, I'm Dr. Maggie Turner, and I'm going to go over today um, the anatomy, a brief anatomy of the lower limb, the lower forelimb on the horse, and point out some basic anatomical structures, where they are, and where there might be areas of heat or swelling, um, and maybe give you an idea of what those could be, and whether it's you know an emergency or something that you could uh, keep an eye on. So first of all, with the lower limb, um, the most important structures, structures are pretty much from the knee below that will affect your horse. Starting from up top, this is the knee joint, or also known as the, the carpus. Um, and then from there, we've got the cannon bone that runs between the carpus, between the knee and the fetlock. So we have carpus, fetlock. The pastern joint you can't really see very well. It sort of just blends into the, the pastern area, but there are joints in here. And then we have the, the coffin joint, which is around the area of the, of the coronary band. Uh, soft tissue, tissue structures in this area include the flexor tendons of the back of the leg. Um, the superficial flexor tendon is the most um, superficial, given its name, and is the most far, farthest back in the leg. Just below the superficial flexor tendon is the deep digital flexor tendon, and they actually run fairly close together. When you're palpating them, you don't necessarily, you can't necessarily tell the difference between the two of them as far as if there's some swelling. Um, in front of these superficial and deep flexor tendons runs the suspensory ligament. The suspensory ligament is quite prominent between the cannon bone and the flexor tendons and it runs um, to about here as one solid body and then splits into the branches. One will attach on the outside of the fetlock joint and one on the inside. Um, Areas that might be of concern where you might see swelling or heat on your horse um, going from top to bottom. Some horses, if they injure their knee, may have some, some knee joint effusion, which would present as um, usually soft swellings on the front of the knee. Um, as we come down, um, definitely if a horse is going to have bowed its tendon or injured a flexor tendon, there can be heat and swelling um, and sometimes pain on palpation from about this area down for the most proximal part of it. And as with the suspensory ligament um, in front of those flexor tendons, if there's heat, pain, or swelling, that could indicate a suspensory injury. The branches of the suspensory can also be injured and they usually present as swelling that appears to be more associated directly just to the fetlock joint. Um, so in about this area where they attack heat, pain, and swelling. There definitely can be injuries in the pastern area with respect to soft tissues, but they're not as common as, as up high. And generally speaking, um, you know, you don't always see huge swelling, although you can. As far as joint effusion, we mentioned the knee joint. Um, the fetlock joint, when you're looking for effusion, so increased synovial fluid in the joint, indicating maybe arthritis or a bony injury or an injury to the joint capsule, you'd be looking for a, a pouch of, of filling between the suspensory and the cannon bone, right in the groove where you can run your finger down and it kind of stops at the fetlock joint. There would be a pouch right about where my finger is. In the same spot at the back that would run between the flexor tendons and the suspensory would be what are better known as wind puffs. Uh, wind puffs are actually increased filling in the, dist in the tendon sheath in this area. So those would be wind puffs, and in front of that would be fetlock joint effusion. Uh, coming down farther, pastern joint effusion is very rarely seen uh, or palpated in, in the pastern area, and coffin joint effusion would be demonstrated above the coronary band as an outpoaching just above there. While we're down in the pastern, I'll also mention that uh, this is often where you can see uh, and feel ring bone uh, in a horse. And of course, other things to look for when you're down here, if your horse is unsound, is to get an idea of the temperature of the hoof and get a digital pulse, which you can feel at the back of the pastern.